Hello, today we will be looking at how to do simple keyword research for your YouTube video. And a keyword is the exact word or phrase people search on Google or YouTube or any of the search engines when searching for a particular thing. And the beauty and the importance of this is that if you have your video with exact keyword, the exact word or phrase people are using in searching, the search engine will marry your videos with the person searching because the exact words they are using in searching is found on your video and in your video. And so keywords are very important. In fact, using keywords in my videos is one of the secrets that I've used in my channels. One of my channels here has over 12 million views with several videos ranking for some of the major terms in the health and wellness niche and viral views. In fact, this one has 2.8 million views. This one has 1.8 million views, 1.5 million views. 832,000 views, 700,000 views, 368,000 views and so on. So keywords are very powerful and it has been one of my secrets that I have used for all of my channels for myself, for my students and my clients. And in this video, I will be teaching you how to do simple keyword research for your YouTube video. Now it is important here I state that there are other advanced keyword research processes and several other complex ways and complex and advanced tools that can be used for your keyword research. But in this video we will keep it beginner friendly and give you simple ways and simple tools you can use but equally powerful and equally effective to get your videos ranking and attracting those views and subscribers like a vacuum pump and helping you to even make money from your YouTube channel. So the first tip here is using the YouTube drop down auto suggestion. If you have an idea of a video, one of the simple things you can do is simply come to the YouTube search bar here and start typing the idea you have and see the drop down suggestion, auto suggestion that YouTube gives you. Those suggestions are the exact words people use when typing and searching for that particular type topic or title you are about working on. So for example, if I want to make a video on make money online, I start typing make money online. Now you will notice this based on my location here, apart from make money online, it is giving me make money online in Nigeria option, make money online 2020 and so on. All of these drop down suggestions here are gold. So what I typically do for my videos is I will choose the phrase that is most relevant to the video I want to make and tag it my primary keyword and I'll copy the remaining ones here and tag them my secondary keywords. So the trick here is that my primary keyword must appear on my title, description and tags and I will use my secondary keywords as accompanying tags and also use my secondary keywords to construct a logical sentence or a paragraph that makes sense in my description. So I could go in this video, we will be talking about how to make money online in Nigeria in 2020 and in fact worldwide without any form of investment and you can achieve this fast and free even as a teenager or an adult and we'll be giving some tips like using PayPal, listening to music. So you can see what I'm trying to do here. I'm combining my primary keyword and all of the secondary keywords into a logical, legible and interesting sentences, statements and paragraphs. So that's the first thing. I come down to YouTube, start typing the idea I have and get down the drop down suggestions, copy them somewhere and use them in my title, tags and description. And also in my comments, in case someone asks a question related to that, I make sure I put the, my primary keyword and other relevant keywords in answering the comments. And also when I'm making the video, I make sure that I pronounce, I verbally mention my key primary keyword and other relevant keywords. So for example, in this video, I will mention that in this video, 
I will be teaching us how to make money online. So you see, I've mentioned it verbally, audibly in my video because the, the YouTube AI picks some of those audios and helps you to rank. Also, if I'm saving any relevant file or image, I use my keyword. For example, if I'm saving my video, I will, after rendering my video from my editor, I go back and rename the video to my primary keyword before uploading on YouTube. Also, my thumbnails, I make sure I rename them to my primary keyword before uploading on YouTube. I hope that's clear. So the first simple tip is using the YouTube drop-down auto suggestion. Apart from that, it's also important to know that the longer the keyword, the better. So make money online in Nigeria will be better than make money online. So I will most likely choose make money online in Nigeria. The next tip is I could look at all of these videos here and it will give me suggestions of keywords I could use and the titles I could use and the word, the phrases I could use in my description, my tags and my title. So that's the first tip here. The second tip here is I will do the same thing I did on youtube.com on google.com. Now, because Google owns YouTube, you have some of the keywords also repeated. However, you could also get some gold that are not on YouTube. So if I type make money online here, money online. All right. So you see, um, I'm having some things here, like without paying anything that wasn't on Google, YouTube, like by reading news and so on. So if I now choose this, you can see some of these, some of these questions are powerful. How can I make money online? You can include some of these in your description. You can make videos on them. You can include them in your tags and use the relevant ones. Also, if you come down here, you see more options here that you can use for your title, description and tags. So apart from the drop down here, you could go down here and get suggestions. The third thing I want to suggest here is to have a plugin that was previously free, but now it's paid, but you can still use the free options. You have the plugin called Keyword Everywhere. So Keywords Everywhere is a browser extension that you can install in your browser. And anytime you search for something, you have additional suggestions on the right side right so you see all of these suggestions all of these suggestions so you can use these to enrich your title your description your tags and your comments your thumbnails and use them to save your video file and your thumbnail files right so these are additional gold you can add to your videos so that is the third tip here. Apart from google.com and youtube.com, you could install this browser, this free browser extension that has a paid version, keywords everywhere, keywords everywhere. The next thing is you could use another browser extension called TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy is very powerful. If you want to use my affiliate link, you could go to tubebuddy.com slash ask Dr. Malik to body.com slash ask Dr. Malik and sign up and install this browser extension. Now, the power of TubeBuddy cannot be overemphasized. When you have it installed, it helps you by giving suggestions. So now this suggestion here is from keyword everywhere because on my browser, you can see TubeBuddy here giving us suggestions here. And apart from that, if you click on any video that is related to your topic, TubeBuddy brings in more analytics and brings in all the tags, the person and keywords the person is using. So you can ethically copy these, modify them, use the ones that are relevant to you and you are good to go, right? So we have more suggestions from TubeBuddy, more suggestions from Keyword Everywhere. Now, additionally, TubeBuddy offers you the opportunity to do keyword research. So you could launch the Keyword Explorer. And the beauty is of this is all of this appears for you free if you just install the browser extension. Now, the power of TubeBuddy 
as a keyword research tool is that it tells you how relevant and if the keyword you are choosing will fly or not. So for example, if we say make money online and we click explore, you see that TubeBuddy gives us the score analysis and also gives us the overall score. Now TubeBuddy is telling us now that make money online is a poor keyword to target. Most likely the competition is too much. There are suggestions we could use if for example now we add in Nigeria and we click enter. You see it is telling us that it is still poor. So what we can do is we could add other things. We could we could check the suggestions here. He says in Nigerian 2020. So let's just put 2020 and explore. So you see it is fair. If for example we come in here and say how to make money online in Nigeria. Let's explore this and see. So you can see that it is getting better in score as we make it longer and as we use the suggestions here. So let me modify this a little. How to make money online 2020. Let me put in Nigeria. So you see how to make money online 2020 in Nigeria, you see it is very good. So if I want to make a video now, these exact words will be my title. I will just capitalize the first alphabet in each of these sentence, put my emoji and put other things. You can check my video on how to write magnetic titles and I'll design my thumbnails around these and I will get other related keywords and this will be my title. So this is how powerful it is to use TubeBuddy. It gives you the relevance, the score and tells you if it's a very good keyword to, ta to target or not. You say this keyword isn't too competent, competitive and has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. The next tool I want to mention here is VidIQ and VidIQ is similar to TubeBuddy, very, very similar and it does the same thing. So you can apply the same process that we used for TubeBuddy and use the same process for VidIQ. There's no need installing both of them. You could choose one of them. But if you wish to install both so that you get more results, then feel free to do that. So VidIQ is another powerful browser extension that you can use and to give you amazing results on your channels. The last very important simple way of doing keyword research is going to your channel analytics. So if you go to your YouTube studio dashboard and you come down to analytics and you come down to reach, you can simply scroll down to the end and look at the traffic source, the YouTube search. So some of the phrases people are using that is already giving you results. So it will be interesting for you to do more videos around the topic. So you could click more, see more to have the list of search phrases people are using to get to your channel. So those phrases are already working. So you can see some of the search phrases that are pulling in all of the traffic for me. So you could pick this and redo videos on them. So this is another way you could do research to know what videos to make and what phrases to use. And so you use your YouTube search, YouTube drop down auto suggestion, you use Google uh, drop down auto suggestion, you use keywords everywhere, you use TubeBuddy, you use vidIQ and also use your own analytics from your YouTube studio. And if you do this, you have gems, you have gold that will help you to rank your videos and pull in viewers and subscribers. If you find this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed. And if you have any questions, drop in the comment section below. And if you are interested in getting my free guide to helping you to launch, grow and monetize a hyper profitable YouTube channel, Check the description below for the free gift I have for you and I will see you in the next one.